Hi everybody, I am Alessandra Vella and this is my journey living with Illegal Junction. It has been a minute and a half since I last came on here and updated you guys and for that I apologize. Life happens. <laughs> Uh, to update you, today's date is April 18th, 2023. So we have been at this journey now for a little over two years. We are going into year three now. Man, it's been a journey, hasn't it? <laughs> um, we've been going through a lot uh, in just my personal life. Uh, my family and I packed up and we moved to Las Vegas for my husband's new work opportunity. It's been uh, an adjustment and we're uh, getting used to the new environment and people, but it has been a great change for us so far. And I'm really looking forward to what the future has in store for us here. Um, so we no longer live in uh, St. George, Utah, but we do still commute up there to see my dentist and oral surgeon just because I personally don't really want to go through the trouble of searching for a new dentist and oral surgeon to try and explain and redo the entire process, so to speak. I'd rather just keep going back to the people that I already know and trust and uh, get this process all finished up with them. But uh, I believe uh, the last time I came on here, it was shortly after a procedure with my oral surgeon. And I know it's again been a while since I last updated not too many like big things have really happened with my teeth since then which is why I haven't updated anything until now but so I, I believe if I remember right the last time I came on here I explained that we got all the button screws put in place or the implants one or the other put in place but my implant on the upper left side fell out and my body rejected it and I thought that my oral surgeon put a new screw in but I was mistaken. What really happened is we just went ahead and did another bone graft. So we did, we pulled more bone from the left side of my jaw and more cadaver bone and we packed it in really 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 tight up there and basically just crossed our fingers and really hoped that my body wouldn't reject the bone this time. And uh, just kind of let that heal and play catch up with the rest of my mouth to where it's at right now. I went to my oral surgeon and my dentist yesterday and I got some pretty decent news. So I'm here to share it with you. I went to the oral surgeons first. Um, in the morning and we did another CT scan just to uh, check on the bones and make sure everything was staying in place okay and nothing was looking out of the ordinary. Things are looking great. My body's not rejecting the bone, which is amazing. It's actually growing and forming, which is super awesome. It's just not quite ready yet for another implant, which is totally okay. I'm fine prolonging the process as long as I'm doing it right. And uh, so in about four months, I will go back to my oral surgeon, get another CT scan done just to make sure that all of the bone is not being rejected and everything's set in stone and ready to go for the implant placement. If by chance, um, my bone doesn't take it for some reason and or rejects the next implant. We are just going to scrap that idea and do a bridge placement instead. We're hoping that won't be the case, of course, but um, as far as everything's going so far, it looks like we're in the right direction to just getting another implant in there. So. Fingers crossed. <laughs> then we went to the dentist that afternoon to discuss the uh, more permanent slash cosmetics uh, part of this procedure. 
we are basically reaching the tail end of it now so it's all like they're getting everything ready for me to go it's kind of up to me and my timeline and budget and right now my budget's just a little tight so i can't technically afford the permanent procedures yet i can't get the bridges i can't get the caps or the crowns or veneers i can't get any of that done and i express my concerns with that with my dentist and we talked about it and we figured out a temporary permanent solution that I can afford and do right now. So that's what we're going to do. What is the solution? Um, basically he got a 3D scanner printer thing and he scanned my whole mouth and he's going to send the results of that off to some lab techs and they are going to hand make a very specialized prosthetic type of um, temporary set of teeth um, that they will cement in place in about three weeks if everything goes according to plan of course. It's cost effective but it works and it'll be my my permanent for a while like I'll actually have you know a set of teeth even if it's just the top, I'll have a set of teeth that I can actually flash and smile and eat with and do all that. And um, I'm really excited about it because I won't have all these gaps in my mouth anymore. Um, I won't have my bottom teeth in just yet, but I'm okay with that because um, honestly, it's the top teeth that give me the confidence issues um, the most. So. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really hoping that there's no issues in between now and making the temporary for me to placing it. I don't have to pull them out or anything like that. They should last me up to two to three years, which is great because it gives me a chance to be able to catch up financially and be able to eventually afford the rest of the procedures. And um, my goal is to be able to get this all done within the next year. That's, that's the goal. If everything goes according to plan, I should have a full set of teeth by this time next year. I really, really hope so. Obviously, life happens. Who knows? I've been very adaptable to all the changes, and I only think that there's only good that should come from this from here on out so I feel like despite the setbacks and all the change of plans I, I think I've been pretty accommodating and I mean I know for sure my oral surgeon and my dentist have both been very accommodating as well they've been doing everything they can to help me be able to achieve this perfect smile essentially and um, they're doing everything in their power to uh, be able to get that done in a, a timely manner and within my budget. And it's just been so rewarding and I'm so, so, so grateful that I have found them. Everything should be just smooth sailing from here on out basically. And um, just over time, once I can start to afford the uh, permanent procedures, I will update you and continue to update you until everything is finally done. Um, but we are almost there. <laughs> we, it's, I can see the finish line. It's right there. We're so close and I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, um, I will definitely update you guys once I get my temporaries put in and hopefully they look good. <laughs> um, I'm a little nervous because I've never seen myself with normal looking teeth. So <laughs> I think it'll be a little bit of a shock, but I'm excited. I will definitely update you guys once that happens and yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys again for sticking with me uh, throughout these last few years and continuing to watch me and support me throughout my journey. It has been 
absolutely amazing seeing that I am not the only one going through all of this, running into a lot of people with the same or a similar condition as me and talking about all the work that they have to go through. I get it, it's so, so hard, but you guys got this, we all do. We're almost there <laughs> and it's really exciting. Um, if you guys have any questions about my condition, I explain all of it in my first couple of videos and you are more than welcome to subscribe and follow me for any future updates. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day and yeah, cheers to the next adventure. <laughs> Bye guys.